We're getting ready to do some music. Sorry. That's slowly wandering. There's one thing that I forgot to mention when I was talking earlier, and it's one of the most important things that I should have mentioned about Jim Farrell, is that the thing that really, that I enjoyed most about playing in the Wranglers was not the classic songs that I loved and grew up with, but it's the songs that, the original songs that Jim and Stu wrote. And, you know, if you, they did an album called The Originals where they put all the songs on there that were just theirs. And I wrote some notes in there. And this is, I really still mean this. Um, I call Jim and Stu the Lennon and McCartney of Western music. And uh, it's, when it comes to songwriting, uh, those, are, those are the songs, the songs that Jim and Stu wrote are the songs that I, uh, that I really made me like playing in this band. Um, you know, in the band I played first bass, and we've got the uh, second baseman up on stage with us too here. It's Chip Worthington. I said, I said I played first bass, you play second bass. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you're welcome to take over if I screw up. Oh, heaven. Cabo's own. We're going to do some songs of Jim's, <laughs> Jim's and mine, that... Uh, we just thought we'd like to do. By the head of the giant, east and west of Simron Valley, sands of El puesto del cerro Camazón Los hermanos navíos Son dos hombres malos They stole the cattle of rich men In the shadow of El Cerro Camazón They sent for Jesus Montano Sheriff bound in Jim and I started working together. 
He had a 28-foot Allegro RV. And we went down with Clay Geralds with J38 and played a sorghum festival on Indian Creek in Southwest Tennessee. There was this fella down there had 10 children and they raised sorghum all year round and once a year they had a processing plant that they had built that looked like it came straight from the 1700s. And they would make molasses and put it all in jars and they would have a big festival and sell it all. People would come from miles and miles around and buy that molasses. So we had a great crowd and we had a great show. And the morning after, at three o'clock in the morning, Jim and I were sitting in his RV, which we came to call Studio 28. And we wrote this, the first song we wrote together. The moon rises yellow and bright. Smoke from the campfire fades in to the night Stars shine like diamonds On a black velvet sky The feather on my bedroll I'm dreaming Oh song for us, uh, God, I don't know, uh, a little while ago, maybe 15 years, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure when it was, but it became the title song for an album called Deep in the Saddle, and uh, we actually won album of the year for that album, so we're pretty proud of it, we're real proud of Jim, this is called Deep in the Saddle. Bye. 
riding up from old Nogales. I spied an old cowpoke looking across the mesa toward the sun. Leaning forward in the saddle, his horse was lathered up. He looked like a cowboy on the run. He spoke without turning around, I guess he knew my cut. Me eating up my pony so polite. Said I've rode till I'm worn out, trying to catch the sun. I guess we all must yield to the night. I'm riding deep in the saddle, deep in the saddle, remembering all the trails I did ride. Sweet senorita, friends I hear laughing in the wind, all the peace that I find. Jim's, we, we both like to write songs about real things, real people, and uh, this came out of his research. And it's called Arizona Sun, and we, uh, we played it at a little showcase bar in Nashville one night, and when we came out, we met up with a fella who, uh, who shook all of our hands and said he was Marty Robbins' son. And he, he just teared right up on us. He said, my daddy would have recorded that in a heartbeat. <laughs> so this is called Arizona Sun. Down by the San Simone Wash, I dug for copper there in the ground. After caving, I lost my way and I saw the gold all around. I packed up my mule and my pony with all of the gold they could bear. I headed for Tucson with riches for my Rosalie to there. So hot and dry was the desert. Nice. I rode just after sunup while passing the last bluff. The mule dropped from his heavy load. So I buried the so oars there, the, the carcass pointing the way. I'd make way. it to Tucson and come back to find it someday. Then a storm came and my pony bolted. Standing with two bags of gold under the Arizona sun, caught in this wind so 
in Nashville. He was a songwriter. I was a songwriter. It was Nashville. We were writing country songs. And I got talking to him one day. I don't know what brought this up, but I started telling him how I met my wife, Kathleen. And uh, I told him the whole story. I don't think I'd ever told anybody that before, but he said, that's really romantic. You ought to write a song about it. And honestly, I had never thought of it as romantic before. It's just what happened, you know. I was just kind of relating it to him. But he said, yeah, I'll write a song. And I proceeded to write a three-page epic song <laughs> with all these crazy details and stuff. And of course, Jim was a Nashville songwriter. He said, it's got to fit into three and a half minutes. Because <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> so he and I, work together on this and thanks to him we ended up with this song it's called walking on the moon barefoot out on the highway just his thumb and a guitar to play he just sailed from the blue green waters San Juan and Montego Bay Halfway across the country She combs her long brown hair Dreaming about how her life would go A little wild and a little scared Like they were walking on the moon Into the great unknown There was magic There on their own Dancing on the edge of disaster Leaving their world for some place new Betting it all on tomorrow Like they were walking on the moon He woke up with the sun in a house of a friend of a friend She was there with her long brown hair That's where the journey began She 
saw the trouble in his eyes, but her heart said he was right. It was July 69, you know, they made some history that night, like they were walking on the moon into the great unknown. There was magic And they turned him loose He had another day of leave Because they were walking on the moon Into the great unknown There was magic everywhere Out there on their own Dancing on the edge of disaster Leaving their world for some place new They were walking on the moon They were walking on the moon Let me just jump in here real quick. They didn't know I was going to be here. And I didn't know I was going to be playing, so all failures are uh, my fault, nobody else's. I told him to do that because I didn't know the song either. <laughs> well, just like Stu will tell you two ways before he lies to you, I'll play it two different ways before I play it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a little frightening. Now, Martha asked us to play one song that Jim didn't write before we're done here. And this one was written by Stan Jones. Great Western songwriter. He wrote it in the late 1940s. He tried to get the Sons of the Pioneers to record it, and they turned him down. So the first guy that put this song on a record was Burl Ives. Uh, he wasn't selling a lot of records at that time. Stan was a little disappointed. But in 1949, it got recorded by Vaughn Monroe who just happened to be a friend of my grandpa's. My grandpa worked for WLS Radio at that time. And shortly after he retired in 49, my grandpa made a demo of this song just for our family. And I've still got it, it's about that big around. And it became the first song I ever heard, the first recorded music I ever heard, and the first song I ever learned. I don't count folk when riding out one dark and windy day Stopped to rest upon a ridge as they went along his way But all the was a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw Staring through the ragged sky And up a cloudy draw their brands are still on fire and their hooves are made of steel. Their horns are black and shiny and the hot breath they could feel. The boat they went through him as they thundered through the sky. All the riders coming hard and they heard the mournful cry. Yippee! -I Up in the sky, their horses snorting fire. 
as they ride on through the crime. Yippee! I and the Academy of Western Artists. He was with us at Carnegie Hall the first time we were there, and it's always a pleasure to have Barry Ward stay to be here at the uh, Prairie Rose with us. to stand, Stu likes to sit. To each his own. Very old. <laughs> Stu has to sit. Uh, I did some recording when I guess my first album ever was with you guys. Yeah. They were so patient is the word. As you guys have said, from a guy who knows nothing, uh, who was intimidated, they settled me down and, and they made it work. To me, Jim was always the encourager. He was always positive, and somebody else had mentioned that today. And uh, he's riding, he's riding in paradise right now, as we're, as we're speaking. Ready? There'll be a sunrise coming in the morning. Oh, when I ride out at the break of day. Tagging along when I ride and I sing a joyous song. Oh, I have worked and I've labored and toiled on this land. sunrise coming in the morning oh when I ride out at the 
break of day There'll be a cool breeze Oh, tagging along When I ride And I sing a joyous song And the sunrise, oh what glory, when I behold my Savior's face, I'm going to leave my troubles far behind me, when I ride out at sunrise. Coming in the morning When I ride out At the break of day There'll be a cool breeze Oh, tagging along When I ride And I sing a joyous song When I ride out at sunrise in the morning. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. This was uh, one thing I remember at the state fairgrounds, Jim and I were there was a jam session going on or something and Jim and I was sitting together and I played a song and of course he was the complimentary and he said, just do what you hear. I'll never forget that. He said, do what you hear and, that, and everything else will fall in place. So uh, these guys were instrumental in getting, were, were, I can't thank you guys enough for being so. Our pleasure. And these guys have done, Lots of shows with me, and just, I just love singing with these guys. So uh, this is my mom's favorite song, who passed away last December at 91. And my dad was a horseman, and I said, Mom, why do you like this song? It's a cowboy song. Because it says, I'm going to find Leonard when I get to heaven, and we're going to ride in paradise. She said, I want this song at my funeral as I leave. This is my going out song. So our family kind of... They said, Barry, that's not a funeral song. I said, well, that's what mom wants, and she wrote it down, so we're going to sing it at mom's funeral. And uh, here we go. Riding along the simmer the world seems far away Nature's critters talking I hear every word they say Past that old fallen cottonwood And the smell of the sage And the tall grass waves to me As if to say what if tomorrow It's your last ride Oh, then I'll just thank him For riding by my side Cause I'm riding along the Cimarron I hold the reins in my hands And the birds sing a pretty tune I understand We do the creek 
It's your last ride Oh, then I'll just thank him For riding by my side On a range unknown by man I'll be there with a smile on my face As I ride in His amazing grace Cause I'm riding along the Cimarron Far away really, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Barry Ward. Barry, uh, where's Victoria at there? Right over there. Barry and Victoria. We're past safe travels on your way to Colorado and We'll see on down the trail. We're going to get these Kansas City boys up here next. Three trails west. Three trails west, uh, also award winning cowboys, singers. Uh, they've won. Uh, Group of the Year from the Western Music Association, and I think some Albums of the Year, and um, as Martha mentioned, Leo and Roger have a radio show on Truckers Radio USA. They play in so many bands in Kansas City, they back up so many people that they, they're the backup specialists, the derrieres. That's right. That's <laughs> and Leo uh, just looks like he got off a, a bronc here a little bit ago, but you want to try to hold on to this instead of that cane? Got it. All right. Three trails west. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, you bet Roger. I got one. You got one? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Martha uh, said we could do uh, three songs, so we're going to do four. Four or five. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this first song, uh, some years ago, uh, matter of fact, it was the year that, uh, uh, that we, uh, we, we won the uh, uh, Western... Band of the Year? Duo or Group. Duo or Group of the Year. Right. <clears throat> and we've been jamming uh, in the hotel lobby with this uh, old, older gentleman um, for about three nights. And uh, at the award ceremony, he's sitting right next to us, and he won Western Swing Album of the Year, and uh, he was named Cowboy Joe Babcock. Now, if you don't know Cowboy Je Joe Babcock, he's the guy that wrote, I Wash My Hands in Muddy Water. Of course, everybody in the world recorded that, and he thinks that's just fine. He said it paid for his ranch. <laughs> so Mailbox money. Uh, but when uh, that last night at the jam session, we told him, we said, we're writing, uh, we're getting ready to do another album. And he said, let me send you some songs. If you want to do one, do one. And we picked this one because we, it reminded us of the prairie winds. I think, uh, I think Jim liked this song. <laughs> Just walk just in. Walk it in. Oh yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, a two, a one. All my life I've lived beneath the prairie sky. It's the best. 
fondest of friends, those hills and I. When I hear the drifting of the wind, it sings a lonely prairie song. Then I know that I'm where I belong. It goes who. It's a drift along Ever Lonely Prairie Song When my earthly chores down here are through And I move up to that range beyond the starry blue I won't need a mansion in the sky It's a drift along Ever Lonely Prairie Song It's a drift along Ever Lonely Prairie Song Unlike the Wranglers, uh, uh, we do traditional, uh, well, they do traditional songs too. We're going to do some for you. Um, this is a song that uh, pretty much every cowboy band ever does, and, uh, uh, but we didn't do it for a long time. We thought we, it was kind of like, we didn't really have anything new to bring to the party on that song. Until you know? one night. And, and it happened. And uh, we figured this <laughs> out, so we'll see what you think of it. Uh, Jim, you want to kick it off? I'll try Riding down the tumbleweed trail Watching sleepy cloudboats sail Thinking of the ones I love When roundup time is over Lazy cattle grazing round The only music is the sound From the yappy throats of the wild Rhythm with the south wind's wail Day is ending Shadows are falling I'm not dreaming Something is calling me To come back where The whispering breeze Is singing through Cottonwood trees I'm lonely but free That's the way you be When you ride down the tumbleweed trail See them tumbling down Pledging their love to the ground Is gone. When night is gone, that a new, that a new. 
Thank you for asking us to come and, and uh, honor Jim with our music. It's, uh, he's a, sure was a special guy to us. I tell you something, I was always proud to uh, hang my hat next to his. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're proud to, uh, I don't think it's been announced yet, but we booked May 14th to come down here and bring our group down and play again. So thank you for having us. Uh, we're going to do a Western swing tune. It's written by a pal of Leo's, a guy from Austin. And it's Jim's favorite song that we do, Swing this Me. Jim. That's Jim. This Jim. This Jim. Swing Me Back to Texas. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> well, I've been riding the range on these miles and I've played for so long. Holy shit, brush and coyotes to hear this old Callahan song. I got the wind in my face and these wide open spaces and lonesome as I can be. There's a girl back in Austin whose memory keeps calling me. So won't you swing me back to Texas? Set my boots in that long star stand. Please don't bury me out on that long prairie. Cause Lord, I can't wait for you to swing me back to Texas. I got one more hill to climb. Swing me back to Texas. Lord, I miss that gal of mine. And while the cattle are grazing, my thoughts keep on straight home to that sweet senorita who cried and begged me not to run. <laughs> and looking back on the dark eyes, I can't wait till sunrise to point my saddle south. I'm heading for that hill. Country wishing I was there right now. So won't you swing me back to Texas? Set my boots in that lone star state. Please don't bury me out on that lone prairie. Cause Lord, I can't wait for you to swing me back to Texas. I got one more hill to climb. Swing me back to Texas, Lord, I miss that gal of mine. Swing me back to Texas, Lord, I miss that gal of my
Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to close out with uh, one more, and then I think there's something else going on up here that we'll uh, hopefully be part of. Uh, we don't get to do this song very often, and I, it's been a little while since we've done it. We were back trying to see if we'd remember it, and I think we got, we got most of the notes, but uh, we think it's appropriate, and uh, hopefully you'll like it too. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Are you going to play Skip a Rope? Yeah. Okay, just check it out. Okay. I'm looking at the best side of Jim right now. Yeah. I This is a sing-along.
doing, Chester? He wants to take your picture. Picture? Yeah. You don't take know how to take Jeff. pictures. Oh, he's coming up to dance. Oh, okay. Come on up here. Okay. I misunderstood. The dancing lamp is lit. <laughs> oh, no, Chester's lit. That's <laughs> You can make it. Come on. Front center. Buddy. We touched the arm measure. And thank you to everybody on stage for your extraordinary. It's our honor. Today. Believe me. Hey, I was hiding behind that. <laughs> No charge. <laughs> <laughs>